Well, like a bad penny, I'm back. I'm Dunlap. We're talking about extractors. And I thought I'd give you a couple of examples of ways some manufacturers have designed a gun so that the moment of mass does not become a problem, or should I say, the moment of mass tends to help it extract. They've done it to make sure we get good extraction. Uh, one common type of locking system now is a rotating bolt. Uh, Remington, of course, has a rotating bolt, but the extractor is fairly light, so it doesn't have, compared to the spring tension, it doesn't have a lot of, of uh, mass trying to push it out of the way of the extractor, of, of the extractor cut in the cartridge. And by the time it has to extract, it unlocks, and then it takes the fraction of a second for it to actually start to move back. So it has time. So the Remington haven't found it to be a problem with their extractor system on the automatic rifles that they make currently. Uh, Many military guns have tipping, I said tipping, but I meant rotating bolts. And on those guns, if the bolt rotates quickly, and they do when they unlock, centrifugal force will have a tendency to lift the extractor up. So if the extractor has about as much weight in front of as it does behind the pivot point, then the extractor will tend to stay there. If it has more weight behind the pivot point than in front of it, it will tend to tip the front down and grab the cartridge harder. If it has more weight in the front, it'll have a tendency to lift off and leave the rim of the case at a critical time when it must then grab the rim and pull it out. It doesn't have a good purchase on it. Some guns do this by balancing the moment of mass, and some guns do it by when the bolt is closed, the extractor is inside a circle within the barrel or receiver and can't move out. So as it rotates, it drags on it, but it can't move out of the way. Now, sometimes the extractor can have enough motion that it does. Can, so as it rotates, it would lift out compression the spring, and you can counteract that, of course, by putting more weight behind the extractor. Example would be Glock, who put a long, heavy plunger on the back side of the extractor so that when the pulse strikes the gun and it starts to open, the extractor has a lot of mass pushing it forward, much more than the spring tension that you normally feel. That's how Glock did it, very clever. Uh, so some rotating bolt systems uh, have the extractor, as I said, balanced. Others have it so that the head of the extractor goes into a slot or something, a notch, and rotates into place and can't move out. But some extractors don't fit right and they can move out. So in that case, you need to balance the extractor some way so that the head of the extractor, the hook of the extractor, can't move away during the opening pulse and then leave the rim. Another method is commonly used, and Heckler and Koch uses this method, but they're not the only one. Uh, the Chinese and Russians use it on some of their military guns. Is They have a cam, an extractor to get it out, you pull it back, and then lift it up and take it out. I have them drawn here. We'll take a look at it. The blue that you see is the bolt. The extractor rests in a hole in the bolt, comes forward, and this is the bolt face. So this is where the extractor, I'm sorry, this is where the cartridge case rim would be in this area. It's held in place by a spring. To take the extractor out, you pull it back and lift it out. When it snaps in, it's held in by this wedge or cam. Now it can be on the side, it can be on the top, it depends on the design. But when the gun opens then, the bolt moves back very, very rapidly and shoves the extractor down against the cartridge case so it hangs on. So at the instant that it must grab hold of the cartridge and pull it out, the cartridge case and pull it out, it's being forced in against the rim. When it feeds around and snaps over, as most of them do, it hits here, pushes this back, and it allows it to move back. It can move out, snaps over the rim, comes forward, and wedges here and holds tight. Another system that we don't even think about that is so subtle that most people aren't even aware of it, including some manufacturers, is that the way John Browning designed the 45 automatic, the extractor fits in the slide at a slight angle. It fits as I have drawn. So the green is the extractor and the black is the cartridge case. You see that the cartridge case is straight up and down and the extractor angles to the right slightly. When the gun opens, the extractor wants to straighten up and put the weight all in line with the pivot point, which is here. So that the head of the extractor, the hook, wants to move to the left and get a better purchase on the rim of the case. 
very subtle. Now, if you have a 45 automatic or a gun of that pattern and somebody's drilled a hole off so it's like this, you're going to have trouble getting that gun to reliably extract, aren't you? And the more weight you put out here, the worse it's going to get. On those, I would put, replace the slide. Uh, uh, I can't think of a quick, easy, cheap way of, of correcting the moment of mass problem without creating other problems. Well, I'll give you something to think about for this month, and I'll talk to you in another month or so. Auf Wiedersehen.